and Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about photography secrets, specifically photography secrets around having your picture taken. So we all know what it is like to go online and find a photographer whose photos that we like and then communicate with them, cross our fingers that we can afford them, and then double cross our fingers that the pictures that we get from them are what we hope they will be. So if you're like me, you've had that experience where you see a photographer's portfolio online and everybody looks a certain way and you just dreamily imagine that you can walk into the studio, step in front of that photographer's lens, and then walk out with those exact pictures for yourself. And I don't know about you, but I've had several experiences that were nothing like that. And that made me realize a couple of things. One, the people walking into those photos knew what they were doing in front of the camera. They knew what their angles were. They knew how to present themselves to the camera to get those photos. Now, it's not the way, you know, obviously it's not this way for every photographer. A lot of photographers know how to get people comfortable in front of the camera. When I work with clients, I take time to actually before we start to shoot, connect with the person just as a human, put them at ease, and then I take the time to actually show them what I am seeing through the camera lens. And I do remote photography. And if you don't know that, check out my website here and look at my portfolio, but I'm shooting them remotely. So I'm shooting them through their iPhone and I'm not actually there in person, but I have the ability to send photos through. And then we look at them together and we talk about them before we move on to the next shot. So essentially when I'm doing a photo shoot with somebody, they are in real time learning about their photo and how it's translating on camera. So my first photography secret that I want to share with you is you can absolutely learn to do this for yourself. And this ties in with the mood board that I'm creating today, which is based on my philosophy that I think you should be your own source of inspiration. When I was also prepping for my photo shoot, I looked on Pinterest, probably like what you do. I looked in magazines and I looked on Instagram to see what was already out there and how I could create something like that with a particular photographer for my business or just my photos to have, right? And it's really hard to do that because everybody brings their own unique energy to a photo. But what I would love for you to, to do is to source from your own inspiration. Once you figured out what you like and what you're naturally drawn to in a photo, and if you're not sure what that is, I have a great blog post for you, which breaks it down. It walks you through the exact steps. And then you can also download my ultimate guide to mood boards, which takes you through the process that I use with my clients and for every single one of my photo shoots. And that will help you identify what you like in images, it gives you the exact questions to ask yourself to figure out how to translate that into your own photos. So this is the second point I want to talk about today. You should be your own source of inspiration. And then second, you should be able to source from a library of your own images. And now here's the magic with that. I had the experience with a photographer to finish that story. And I went back and looked at the photos and I just didn't, I didn't see in my own photos, what I saw from the rest of the portfolio. And, and I mean, look, I'm a photographer too. We curate our best images. We show those, we show the images to you that we want to produce more of, right? So I'm sure there are other photos in this photographer's portfolio that look more like my images that I just didn't see. Um, so I left feeling disappointed and that kicked off my self portrait journey, which was my determination to create my own photos. And if you haven't seen one of my self portrait videos, I'll link a bunch in the caption for you so you can get started. But my mood board today is going to be based on having a library of your own images to source from. 
meaning you have started this journey you started taking self-portraits, you started figuring out what you like about your photos. You're not so critical of what you're seeing when you sit down to look at them. And instead you can get curious and you can troubleshoot. You can say things like, you know what? I don't think I like this image, but it's not me. It's just the lighting, right? Like you can see, I'm not in the best lighting right now. And it's probably not the most flattering, but this is what I had to work with for the video. So this is what I'm going with. And me being able to point that out here to you in real time, instead of just saying, Ugh, I don't like this, forget it. And then <laughs> so deleting the video, screaming yuck, swearing that you're never gonna get in front of the camera again, that is not what we want. We want you to be able to pinpoint what it is that you don't like and what you like, and then do more of that. So ideally, when you are working with a photographer, you are going in with your own portfolio of inspiration images because you've studied yourself and you've done the work to know what you like. And then you can give that to the camera. So when the photographer comes out with their camera, you know exactly how to serve it up to them to get the shots that you want. Today's mood board is going to be based on a library of inspiration taken with photographs that I have taken of myself. There are some of my creative shoots in there of interiors and lifestyle as well. But today's tactile mood board that I'm going to make is all from my own library of inspiration. And yes, I had a little bit of hesitation doing this, but I'm also really excited to lead the way and show you that it's okay. It's okay. In fact, it's more than okay. It's so beautiful to be able to look at a photo of yourself and say, I really like this photo of me. This looks like me. This makes me proud. This makes me feel good because you are allowed to be proud of how you feel about yourself and how you look. Okay. That is absolutely allowed. You are not taking anything else away from anyone else by giving yourself that little piece of kindness. Artifact Uprising. And although I have been taking my own self-portraits for well over two years now, I have never printed out a single photo of myself. Not one. Not even a wallet-sized one. <laughs> When Artifact Uprising reached out to go in and utilize their services to print out my photos for this collaboration, I was more than nervous. <laughs> Probably like you're feeling right now, right? Am I allowed to do that? Is that okay? What will people think when they see a pile of images that I have taken of myself and printed out and I'm now plastering into a mood board? But you know what? I don't care because this is for me. This is my body of work and I am really, really proud of the journey that I've been on to have a lot of compassion and self-kindness for my own picture and to get to the point where I am not only printing them out, but I am sharing them proudly with you. Thank you. 